Merry Christmas in July, everybody. Welcome to your Christmas in July Pick a Pile reading. I am so excited to do this reading for you guys today because Christmas number one is my absolute favorite time of the year. And of course, I would be the only person who would buy a Christmas related deck in July. But since Christmas in July is kind of a thing, I figured this is the perfect opportunity to do something really fun, unique, and different like this. So the deck that we're gonna be using today, you guys, and there are so many cards in this deck, it is crazy, is the Christmas Love Oracle by Fire Witch Tarot. And I'm just so stoked to dive into this. It's not even funny. We're gonna have some real good fun here. So uh, basically what we're asking is what can you expect this upcoming holiday season? Um, if you're watching this in real time right now, it is obviously July, which is why we're doing Christmas in July right now. But we're taking a little peek into the future as to what could possibly happen coming up during the time frame roughly between Thanksgiving and New Year's coming up in the holiday season. You don't have to celebrate Christmas to watch this video, obviously. You know, you could celebrate anything. It could be Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, winter solstice, whatever. We're gonna have a good time here. And uh, if you're anything like me and you love those cheesy Hallmark Christmas movies, we're gonna see if maybe you're gonna have your very own Hallmark Christmas movie happily ever after this year. That would be kind of fun. They're kind of like Disney movies for adults. But um, anyways, let's look at the piles and that way then I can give you guys a chance to choose what you would like. Like I said, we have six different piles and pile number one here are these fun, cute little red and green mittens that you can hang on a tree. So those are cute and fun. Pile two is this pile of um, firewood for the fireplace and there's a little squirrel sitting on top of there. Pile number three is this Christmas bear. He's wearing a Santa hat and he's saying Merry Christmas with a little star. Pile number four is this white iridescent uh, Christmas bulb ornament. Just a simple white ball. Pile number five is a very old, like you can tell he's old looking at his coloring, um, but he's a very old Santa. He was actually the topper to a pen that I had as a kid and uh, he's just hanging out here as a little decoration and an option to pick from for a pile. And pile number six is an iridescent angel. So those are your different options. Timestamps are of course down below. So click to the timestamp of which pile resonates with you that you would like to pick from. And let's see what your Christmas forecast coming up this year might be. Starting off with pile number one. Hi, pile one. If you chose these cute little Christmas mittens here that are red and green, this is your Christmas forecast coming up this year and your Christmas in July reading. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Okay. We're gonna have one card from the Loving Words from Jesus deck because, well, I always pull one of those anyway with any reading because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day helps keep the bad vibes away. And Christmas is his birthday anyway, so we might as well see what Jesus has to say first and then we'll launch into the rest of the cards. Forgive and you shall be forgiven. Luke 6:37. All right, that's always a good message. We'll see if that correlates to anything else that comes out in these cards. So let's get into it. We have, let me treat you. Oh boy. Well, this is already a spicy reading. 
winter wedding. Oh, wow. Maybe you or someone that you know is getting married coming up in, during the holiday season. Love letter. Such a romantic, spicy pile so far. Best buds. Well, that's fun. Let's work things out. And we'll kind of dive in deeper as to how this may all match together in a minute. Cuddle buddy. All I want is you. Fun with friends. Missing you like crazy. And new home, moving in together, moving away, moving out. All right, well, we have quite a selection here of stuff that's going on. Um, let's dive into it. Overall, I'm getting a pretty good vibe from this group. Um, it definitely seems like, you know, even though this year might be a little uh, challenging for all of us because of coronavirus and everything, you know, gatherings and having big groups come together of loved ones could be a challenge in general this season for all the piles, but regardless, of that it looks like you guys are still going to somehow find a way to be connected with others during the holiday season for sure um, number one with best buds and fun with friends I'm definitely getting the feeling that this coming holiday season you are gonna be surrounded with friends you know we're talking about like really good solid friendships here uh, whether you're having basically like zoom calls with a big group of friends over uh holiday meals like thanksgiving and stuff like that or you know if you're actually able to meet up with people and hang out social distancing and whatnot you're still gonna have good times with friends and you're still gonna gather there's gonna be drinks there's gonna be fun you know this is just gonna be for all of your friends this isn't just like romantically involved but i know a lot of the times people are asking you know what's going on romantically we're gonna get there their stuff <laughs> but um just in terms of your friends uh friends near and far you're gonna be having a lot of good closeness with your friends and a good time so that's always positive that's definitely a good thing um also like I said, there's a possibility that either you or someone that you know is going to be getting married during the holiday season. And this could be another reason why fun with friends and hanging out with your bus, be, bust, your best buds. I always like combine words somehow during readings. It's like the words just want to pour out of me so fast that my mouth can't keep up with what my brain is saying um anyway but i think that that could be a, a part of why you're hanging out with your friends it's a time of celebration someone's getting married either you or someone that you know so it's definitely going to be a time for friends to come together and celebrate and i do believe that number one if it's you who's getting married that means that you're probably moving into a new stage of your life if not like an actual physical new home, um, you're, de you're definitely entering a new stage of life with that special person. Um, if it's not you who's getting married and you're just participating in somebody else's celebration, I still think that you're moving into like a new phase of life. You could actually be physically moving too. You don't have to be getting married to be physically moving somewhere, but um, if there's no physical movement of any kind happening in terms of relocation, you're at least definitely starting this new phase of something. There's a new beginning happening around the holidays for you, for sure. And it's going to be a solid beginning because, you know, when I think of a new home, I think of new solid foundations and that kind of thing. 
so there's definitely going to be that um, and in terms of love well there's going to be communication for sure I mean number one if you're the person who's getting married there's obviously communication there but if you're not the person who's getting married you are definitely going to have communication of love shadow please stop that would be my dog. He, he wants to communicate some love right now to you. Um, but uh, yeah, you're definitely going to receive some kind of messages of love from a special somebody, probably during the holidays. And if it's someone you haven't heard from in a while, it's because they've been missing you like crazy and you've been missing them like crazy. And you know, this is someone once again that you haven't heard from in a while, and you've had issues, they wanna work things out. They want to sort out whatever it was that went down, whatever it was that went wrong. Um, they wanna work things out with you because they miss you. So they're going to be expressing some love coming your way soon. And it's also because all they want is you. You're the only person that they want. And I'm sure that the feeling is uh, mutual, vice versa. And because of that, once you guys have this communication and work things out, um, you're definitely going to make up with one another. This person wants to treat you and have some adventures underneath the tree with you and cuddle with you as well. Like they don't just, you know, want to get freaky and get done. They want to like have that tenderness and have that closeness with you as well. And you know, cuddle with you and keep you warm during the winter nights, during the holidays as well. And, you know, like I said, if you're the person who's getting married, well, clearly, you know, your wedding night, honeymooning, you're both going to be treating one another and cuddling with one another, celebrating your new life, heading into marriage as husband and wife. As for forgiveness, um, I think that forgiveness ties in here with anyone that you need to work things out with. And even if it's not like a romantic person of interest that you have to work things out with, there may be somebody during the holidays that you have to sort some kind of difference out with. You know, it could be a friend, it could be a relative, because, you know, sensitive issues sometimes do come up when we're spending time over the holidays with loved ones and everything. So you could need to patch things up with somebody and have a little bit of forgiveness there. Um, but overall, like the energy of this group is looking really good. There's going to be a lot of fun with friends. There's going to be um, new beginnings and new adventures here with a new home, a new foundation. There's going to be communication of love coming in. And, um, you know, you're going to sort out differences. No one's going to be missing each other anymore because people are going to be coming together. That's clear and obvious from this pile. And, uh, you know, there's, there's going to be a little fiery playtime fun and snuggling fun as well. So I think you guys are going to have a very, very merry Christmas and holiday season coming up this year. That is fantastic. Um, so I'm super excited for you guys. And if you are getting married later this year, congratulations in advance. Like that is fantastic. So if this message did not flow for you, just let it go, obviously. Maybe pick a different pile. But otherwise, um, I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you did, leave me a message in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. Otherwise, keep sparkling, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas in July, everybody. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the firewood here in the little basket with the squirrel on top, like the Yule log, basically, then this is your Christmas in July reading. We're gonna see what's going on. Okay, we are going to start, number one, with the Jesus card underneath because I always pull a Jesus card for every reading no matter what. And I mean, this kind of makes sense because Jesus 
you know, Christmas is his birthday. So it fits even more so. But to me, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. So let's see what your Jesus card is for Christmas in July. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John 14, 18. All right. Good little message there. And now let's get into your Christmas love oracle cards and see what you can anticipate coming up. I still have hope for us. All right, a hopeful holiday season. Sex bait, ooh, spicy, 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 I can't talk. <laughs> Celebration of love. Very nice, very nice. Bad spending habits, uh-oh. Well, you gotta have a negative card, I guess, somewhere in there. Be grateful for what you have. I drink to be merry, uh-oh. Maybe that's where the bad spending habits are coming from. Sexy and single. Abundance. Gladly take a little bit of that for the holidays, right? Strong love fighting for us. And karmic interference. Okay. So here's what I am seeing going on with you guys. Pile number two. All right. So first of all, right off the bat, um, we might as well just get into it and acknowledge this right off the bat. I'm getting the feeling from you guys that this holiday season, you probably will be single, but don't worry because you're obviously going to be sexy and single. Um, so that's for sure. You may be single, but I don't think you're going to have like a rotten Christmas because of that. I think you're still going to have a fun Christmas. It, it's going to be a bit of an adventure, I think. And what's also interesting here is we have sex bait and you know, this has the candy cane and she's licking the candy cane too. So even though you're going to be single, most likely this holiday season, um, you're definitely going to be having fun. You're going to be flirting. You're going to be acting maybe kind of coy towards your person of interest. You know, if you do have a person of interest in mind, um, maybe even kind of like a tease, like kind of just dangling the candy cane in front of them and taking it away kind of a thing. But you're going to be having fun with that for sure. So I see that happening for you. And I do think for most of you, there probably is a person of interest because there are definitely messages coming in from that person. And if there is someone that you're asking about during the holiday season, they will still have hope for the both of you guys. And I think that there's definitely probably been some problems in the past, which is why you're dangling this bait in front of them. You're not just ready to just cave and give in to their wishes and fantasies during the holiday season. Um, you're gonna make them work for it, for sure. But they do want you to know that your love is strong between the two of you, even if they've done things that have hurt you or they've said things that have hurt you and they're still fighting for you. They still hope, they still have hope for you guys. And I think probably one of the reasons why there have been problems between the two of you is they may have left you to go be with somebody else or you know maybe when you guys met they were with somebody else already and they still haven't left that person but there definitely seems to be a third party involved in this situation which i think is probably where some of that tension has come from dealing with you guys and which is why you're not just gonna you know cave to them right off the bat um you're gonna make them work for it but i think that you are very grateful for what you have you know and you are going to have abundance this holiday season. You may be single, you may be kind of in a weird way playing with this person a little bit, 
but as a whole with everything, with your friends, with your family, with your holiday activities, with whatever work it is that you're doing around this time of the year, you are gonna know that you have a lot to be grateful for. You're gonna be able to see that. You're gonna have abundance. There may be new things that come along for you during the season that are gonna be fun and exciting, You know, whether it's opportunities or in your career or with your friends, your family, hobbies, interests, whatever. There's gonna be new things that may come around too that you're just gonna like overflow with and be abundant with but still be careful because you may have a little bit too much fun <laughs> this holiday season and you might get a little bit drunk, you might get a little bit tipsy <laughs> and you might go a little bit crazy on spending your money. And I'm not saying you're gonna be spending money when you're drunk, although that is possible if maybe you're doing it online and you've had a little bit <laughs> too much holiday nog or something. Um, but otherwise, I, I think you guys are going to have probably a little bit too much fun with the drinking, which also could be where some of this uh, sex, sex baiting could come in. You know, this overly flirtatious, like, here, I'm going to give you, you know, lick your candy cane. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm not going to lick your candy cane. Yes, I am. Oh, no, I'm not. Um, that's where some of that could come out of, too, um, just from having a little bit too much in your system. But be careful with your money, I think is definitely one of the things to be noted here. Uh, you may want to go a little bit overboard in spending your money on uh, not just yourself, but your loved ones, your friends, your family, um, in buying gifts for other people. And there's obviously nothing wrong with giving to others. Like that's a beautiful thing and that's a great thing to do. But we are... We are in uncertain times right now with the virus going on and the economy being all wacky and funky and lots of people being unemployed. So I would just be careful with your holiday spending this year. You know, you can still get people stuff, but maybe create a budget, really talk to people about what it is that they want. So, you know, everyone can be happy that some that someone can still get what they're wanting for Christmas, but you know, you're not bending over backwards with your wallet either. But I do think the overall consensus of the season for you is it's going to be a celebration of love. It's going to be a celebration of love with friends, with family, even with this person that you're probably sex baiting and, you know, they still have hope for you and they still have a strong love for you and they're fighting for you. So, you know, that love is definitely still there, but romantically and, um, you know, platonically, with family, with all that stuff. It's going to be a good season. I think it's it's definitely going to be an adventure. I feel like this holiday season is going to be an adventure for you guys. There's going to be kind of like ups and downs. It's going to be a crazy wild roller coaster. But I kind of get the vibe and the feeling from you that you're up for the challenge. Like you're down for some like wild times during the holiday season. And that's definitely what is coming through for you. And as for, um, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I think this is just a reminder, you know, even during maybe the difficult points, like if this third party situation appears during the holidays, or, you know, you're really struggling with your person, especially when you're kind of like putting out there like, I want you, no I don't, I want you, now I don't. <laughs> um, you know, those moments may be a little bit hard for you, but not to worry because, you know, God is still with you in that through all the ups and downs. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm seeing going on for you guys. It's, it's an adventure. You guys are definitely one wild and crazy group it it would be like it's almost like a movie that would be fun to watch like one of those crazy holiday movies filled with hijinks that's kind of the vibe that i'm getting from you guys almost kind of like a christmas vacation kind of a thing <laughs> so if christmas vacation is one of your favorite movies then this may be the pile for you anyway if the message to this reading did not flow for you just let it go but otherwise, if it did, please feel free to leave me a comment down below in the comment section and leave this video a big fat thumbs up. 
feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new readings are coming through to you. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys coming to this video and checking it out. Keep sparkling and Merry Christmas in July, everybody. Hi, pile three. If you picked this cute little Christmas bear wearing the Santa hat saying Merry Christmas on the star, then this is the Christmas in July reading for you. So we're gonna get right into this here. Um, we're gonna start out actually reading the, um, there's a little piece of dust there, um, reading your Jesus card because I always include a Jesus card in every single one of my readings, Christmas or not, even though Christmas is very fitting considering it, has, it is his birthday. Um, but for me personally, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. So we're gonna see what your Jesus card is. Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give to you, John 16, 23. All right, that's a good one for sure. And the Jesus cards, I think, resonate, you know, whether it's Christmas in July or, you know, really for any time of the year, for any, any day, anything, any situation. But let's see what your Christmas love oracle cards have to say. Sweet tooth, get in my mouth. There seems to be a candy cane theme with so many of these cards. It's so funny. I want to give it to you. Well, if this isn't um, very obvious, I don't know what is. Sensual activities. There's a theme here. There's definitely a theme. I can't wait to unwrap your love. Okay, this pile, yeah, there's a, there's a theme. Crying, upset, having a fit, lonely. Uh-oh. Abandoned, left in the cold. Uh-oh again. Guided by angels. Always a good thing. Thank you for loving me. Smothered with love. And I want you to meet my family. Okay. Now this is definitely an interesting poll for you guys. Um, you guys are definitely kind of like this crazy hot and cold kind of a group, clearly. But let's dive into it. And it's interesting because um, as the cards were coming out, I feel like they actually kind of came out almost in order as to what may go down, as to what may happen. So around the holiday season, number one, there's definitely going to be some serious sexy time between you and a special person. This could be somebody that you're already involved with. It could be someone that you're going to be involved with. It may not be someone that you know yet. It could be someone new that you meet. It could be someone that you already know and you know has already been in your life and they could be a person of interest to you. However the connection is, but you and this person, you are definitely going to be connecting over the holiday season. Um, this person definitely wants the taste of you, for sure. Um, they want to give you the D, for sure. I may actually have to put an 18 plus thing on this reading now, simply because of this one pile. This has been probably the hottest pile out of all of them so far. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so they obviously want to give you the D. Um, and they love your taste or they're going to during the holidays. There's definitely going to be sensual activities between the two of you. Who knows? You guys may be so kinky. You may wind up like actually making a sex tape over the holidays, like a, a holiday sex movie. Um, 
that could wind up looking something like this. I can't wait to unwrap your love. So clearly you guys are going to be unwrapping one another like Christmas presents over the holidays, you and this person. So I think that's kind of going to be how the holiday season is going to kick off. It's going to kick off with this very hot, passionate, fiery union between you and someone else, either the person you're already with, someone you're going to meet, someone who's a person of interest, someone that you've been already in and out with in the past. You're going to know better than me who this person is, but I'm sure you know who this person is. Um, unless you haven't met them, of course, yet. But otherwise, uh, for most of you, though, I think you do know who this person most likely is. So anyway, it's definitely going to kick off with that. But unfortunately, I do get the feeling that most likely the person that you're dealing with, he probably has avoidant attachment style. So he's probably going to be the kind of person, even if he does love you and even if he does care about you, he probably has a lot of fears attached to commitment and he probably has an avoidant attachment style which means when he gets too close he starts to feel smothered and you may not be doing this to him on purpose but you know you guys are going to be connecting and you're going to be having a great time together and you're probably going to want this person to like meet your family because it's the holiday season and they're gonna wind up doing this, <laughs> abandoning you and leaving you in the cold, which is not fun. Um, but there's a, a high pro probability that that could wind up happening, that you guys could wind up having all this heated, passionate fun um, under the Christmas tree, and then afterwards they're just up and out of there. And I don't think they're trying to do that like on purpose to hurt you. I just get the feeling that when they get too close, they run like it's too much for them. They emotionally cannot handle it. It's just, it's overwhelming, which is going to wind up leaving you crying, upset, having a fit, feeling lonely. It's not going to be the best ending to this amazing time of passion that you guys wind up having. So it's gonna go from like super awesome to like super crappy in like 0.2 seconds after this whole thing goes down. But like I said, I do get the feeling that this person cares about you for majority of you. There's a chance that there could be a percentage of you, a smaller percentage of you where this person is basically just an ass and you probably shouldn't have messed around with them in the first place because you know, they may have narcissistic tendencies and they just legit don't care. But I do feel for a majority of you, this person does care and they do love you, but they have this avoidant attachment style. It's very overwhelming for them when you guys come together in a good way, but it's also frightening to them at the same time. They don't know how to handle it. It's overbearing. And because of that, that's why I feel like for a majority of you, this person does care because I think they will want you to know that they are appreciative to you for loving them, that they are thankful for that, that they do acknowledge that. They may not show it in the best way afterwards by hightailing it and behaving like that, but they do appreciate that love. And they wouldn't appreciate that love if it wasn't mutual. And I think ultimately coming out of this situation, you just need to spend a lot of time in prayer, you know, try not to get too upset by their behavior. If you don't want to even go there and wind up having this crying and abandonment and all this other kind of stuff going on, then don't even go there in the first place and don't even, you know, have this fun under the tree kind of stuff because you can avoid all of this by not doing any of that. So the choice is ultimately up to you. And this is where you need to just pray. You need to spend time with God. Um, you know, whatsoever you shall ask your father in my name, he will give to you. So talk to God about what it is that you want. Talk to God about what it is you want in this situation involving this particular person. And, you know, he's going to comfort you. He's going to guide you. He's going to lead you in the right direction. You know, if you even go here in the first place, 
and or whether you don't and you know if things do go south if they do go in a bad direction spend a lot of time in prayer that's going to be the best way to kind of snap yourself out of it and figure out where to go from there because chances are most likely if they have avoidant attachment style then you most likely have um, anxious attachment style which means you know while they want to like run and hightail it and abandon you you know <laughs> not on purpose not like in a crazy way but you know you want to hug them and kiss them and just become more closer to them after um, special intimate times like that so I, I think you're just gonna have to kind of in a weird way spiritually play it by ear in the aftermath of everything try not to get too attached to what happens afterwards maybe even have a discussion about this before it happens you know to see where they're at that's always a good thing because he may be honest with you and he may say hey you know this is just gonna have to be like a you know one-time thing during the holidays and then you know I'm out and at least that way then like that can prepare you and you can be like okay do I still want to get involved in this do I still want to do this so, like I said, the, the choice is ultimately yours. But I do think because this person is thankful for you and they are grateful for the love that you have for them, if you're patient with them and if you don't smother them, especially in the aftermath, there is a chance this could still be redeemable during the holidays if you don't, like, chase after them and kind of force yourself in a weird way on them after all the sexy time you know, just kind of stay in this prayerful place and give them their space. And you may be surprised because they may say to you, hey, I want you to meet my family. So there's a chance that that could flip flop, but that's only gonna happen if you don't jump all over them and you give them their space and you're respectful of all of that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of an, an up and down situation. Um, I totally get it, but I think as long as you stay connected in prayer, you will navigate your way through this for something that's going to be beneficial for the both of you and, you know, just give this person um, time and space and understanding and um, you'll, you will sort it out and you will find a way to have both of your needs met and be able to communicate that to one another. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile number three, um, if this message did not flow, of course, just let it go. But if it did, please let me know and leave a message down in the comment section for me. Otherwise, uh, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming your way. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming to this reading. Keep sparkling and have a very Merry Christmas in July. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose this white iridescent ball ornament bulb thing, then this is your Christmas in July reading. Oh, it's about to knock into the jingle bells. Okay, let's see what is going on. We're going to start off with your Loving Words from Jesus card because I always include a Jesus card in every reading, doesn't matter what kind it is, because a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away, at least in my opinion. And it is Jesus' birthday anyway when we're talking about Christmas, so it's even more appropriate in this reading. So let's see what this has to say. Blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Luke eleven twenty eight. All right. Well, that is great, Luke eleven twenty eight. And now we're going to get into your Christmas love oracle cards and see what you can anticipate this upcoming Christmas season. Leading the way. Strong spiritual beliefs. I love when you get creative and festive. Shopping together. 
Secret Santa. In Good Spirits. Kiss Our Worries Away. I need a break. Stuck in a rut, snowed in bad weather. And enchanted kiss. Okay. Definitely an interesting mix going on here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm feeling from you guys is you may have a secret Santa this year, meaning, could be two different meanings to this card. Uh, number one, you very well could have a secret admirer around the holiday season, and that secret admirer may reveal themselves to you around that time. Um, if not, if it's not a secret admirer, I would say there's probably just like a secret special surprise in general on its way for you. And you know, Secret Santa is fun. It's usually a good surprise. So whatever unexpected thing that you may be waiting for, that you, you may want, you know, it could be in love, it could be in your career, it could be with other things, um, that's definitely going to pop up and reveal itself during the holiday season. Um, also, and this, this is kind of interesting, I also kind of feel that during the holiday season, it's going to be a very fruitful time for you in terms of your spiritual walk, in terms of your beliefs um, with this card. And, you know, your beliefs could be anything, you know, you could be a Christian, like for myself, you know, I'm a born again, believing Christian, um, but maybe your beliefs are different, you know, you could be Jewish, um, you could just be, um, you know, someone who's just very spiritual in general, there may not even be necessarily a title for it, you know, you could be a tarot reader as well, um, you know, you could do healings on people and things like that. But either way, I think during the holiday season, it's going to be a very um, strong and fruitful time for you in terms of your spiritual walk. And I think, now I know this could imply something sexy with the girl on the picture and everything, but honestly, I kind of see these two cards going together because I feel like whatever your strong spiritual giftings are, you're gonna be leading the way with that. You're gonna be leading and guiding and helping others in whatever that gifting is. But that's just going to be a very fruitful and blessed time for you in helping other people, um, which is kind of what we should be doing anyway, like any time of the year, but especially during the holiday season, it's good to help other people. So I do think that in the holiday season, you're going to be a leader. You're going to be providing leadership and guidance in wherever your spiritual giftings are and whatever your spiritual path and beliefs may be. So I definitely see that going on, but be careful. Um, don't exhaust yourself in the process of doing all of that because you could get so heavily involved with everything that you're doing, being a busy bee, helping people and being there for people that you may have burnout and you may need a break and you may get to the point where you feel stuck in what you're doing. So um, while it's definitely great to be very prolific in helping other people and being there, um, pace yourself and still take time for yourself and still be there for yourself. Because if you're not, you're gonna reach burnout, you're gonna need a break, you're gonna get stuck, and then you're not gonna be able to help anybody because we're ab of absolute no assistance to anybody else when we're not taking care of ourselves too. So that's just a little heads up. But otherwise, in your love life specifically, um, either this secret admirer is going to reveal themselves and you guys may come together. But if that's not the case and there's already somebody that you know maybe you have in mind or maybe someone that you're already with, 
I do think that you're going to have an enjoyable season with this person. It's going to be a good time together. I think you guys are going to find fun and creative ways to spend time together, whether that's kind of how this picture implies um, in a sexual way, but it could be in other ways too, because we also have shopping together. So you guys may participate in just like fun holiday activities together, not just, you know, sexy time, but um, yeah, like fun holiday activities together. Um, we have Kiss Our Worries Away and Enchanted Kiss. So there's definitely like this tenderness and vulnerability between you and this other person during the holiday season where just your kisses are going to be very special, probably hanging out under some mistletoe and that kind of thing. But overall, you're going to have a good season with this person and it's going to leave you in good spirits. It's going to leave them in good spirits too. Um, so I think it's going to be very well-rounded overall, a good holiday season for you guys. You know, you may go Christmas caroling together or bake cookies together or, you know, there's so many different like holiday activities you guys can do. Watch Christmas movies. Um, it's just going to be a fun holiday season together. And who knows, this person may actually be helping you and be a part of this. Whoop, as I drop the card, there it goes. <laughs> it's so spiritually excited. It just wants to fall down. Um, but yeah, cards are just hopping out. Uh, but yeah, this person may even be a part of this with you in being a leader and uh, helping other people in their spiritual giftings along the way too. Like you guys may kind of actually be on a mission together with that, you and this other person. So overall, it looks like it's going to be a good holiday season. I guess the only uh, warning I would have for you guys is to not overdo it. Don't burn yourself out. Um, and this is funny too, because blessed are they who keep the word of God, who hear the word of God and keep it. And you are definitely someone who hears that word because you have your strong beliefs and you are leading the way with them, helping and leading and guiding others with them. So that definitely fits. But yeah, I was going to say, just be careful to not go in a place of burnout. Don't overwork yourself or overstress yourself during the holiday seasons. So that way then you can enjoy things to its fullest. So I hope that made sense. I hope that resonated for you guys. If the message did not flow, just let it go, of course. But if it did, please let me know and leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when future videos are coming your way. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day, keep sparkling, and Merry Christmas in July! Hi, pile number five. If you chose Santa Claus here, this super old school Santa pen cap, then this is the Christmas in July reading for you. We're gonna kick things off here with the Loving Words from Jesus card because I always include a Jesus card in all of my readings, uh, Christmas related or not, just because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. And you know, Christmas is his birthday anyway, so it makes even more sense to include this in this reading. So let's see what Jesus has to say for his birthday. Judge not that you be not judged. Matthew 7, 1. All right, that's always a good reminder to not judge others, not blah, 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 <laughs> judge others. Words form mouth, yeah, there we go. Okay, digging into the Christmas Oracle cards, let's see what's happening. Enjoying yourself. Incoming happy message. You ain't getting shit for me. <laughs> okay. Well then. Unexpected visitor. 
you know, whenever I think of an unexpected visitor, sometimes I think like, oh, that's my period, and I wasn't expecting it to come this early. But that's just me. I don't, that's a total random tangent. I don't know where that just came from. <laughs> but bad habits. Chopping, chopping out. All right. Making love by the fireplace. Special surprise. We seem to have a theme here, like unexpected visitor, surprise. That's kind of fun. You know how to make a house a home, cozy and warm. Playful. And you took too much from me. All right. Okay. Well, this is definitely an interesting mixture here. All right. So here's what I see happening with you guys this coming holiday season. Um, number one, there's obviously going to be a surprise that's going to be coming which is probably going to be an unexpected visitor. That's just kind of automatic. These two go hand in hand. Um, I think this kind of gives it away that it's gonna be an unexpected visitor, but there could be a person that you're going to reconnect with or who's gonna pop back up into your life um, around the holiday season. And I do feel that whoever this person is, it's someone that you want to hear from it's going to be a good incoming thing because we have incoming happy message. And I think that the happy message is definitely tied to this special surprise and unexpected visitor. Um, it wouldn't be special if it wasn't something that was going to be happy, if it wasn't something that was going to be a positive thing to look forward to. So I do believe around the holiday season, you're going to get an incoming happy message from an unexpected visitor who is going to show up to surprise you. So that is a pretty clear message right there for sure. Um, and I do believe that this is probably going to be a love related connection because you have playful, you have enjoying yourself and you have making love by the fireplace. So I do believe that this unexpected surprise visitor that you guys are probably going to have a very passionate, intimate time with one another. Um, and just overall in general, you're going to be enjoying yourself and feeling very playful this holiday season, just as a whole, you know, of course, with that special person who comes into the picture, but um, even just on your own terms, like even just either by yourself or with other people, with whatever it is that you're doing, it's gonna be a good time. And it's funny because considering it seems like this person is going to be an unexpected visitor, like they could be coming in from out of town, but even if they're not, and even if you know you guys live in the same area and they just like pop by or whatever, and you know, you weren't expecting it, I think they're also going to acknowledge that you can make your home very warm and cozy. Um, and this just isn't just about like how you decorated your house for Christmas or anything like that. But I, I think just like in general, you have this very warm and inviting personality. You know, you're a good hostess. You are very good at hospitality and making, you know, your home feel like it would be home for anybody. You know, you're one of those people who when you open the door, for others, you know, you're just like, mi casa, su casa kind of thing, you know? Um, you provide like amazing food for people, you make people feel warm and welcomed and that kind of thing. Kind of like a very mothering and loving and nurturing quality and I definitely think that this person will feel that about you. And it's funny because we have the fireplace here and we also have making love by the fireplace. So those two things go hand in hand as well. So I think that person is definitely gonna see that and acknowledge that 
And that's something that that person loves and appreciates about you. However, there definitely is another energy coming in on this pile that isn't as positive and happy as that. And I don't think that this is connected to this surprise person, but a different person. Now, considering whoever comes into town or comes over to your house who may be this unexpected visitor that is a special surprise, there may be someone else around you in your life who may not particularly like this person or approve of this person. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, and I don't think they're gonna necessarily be happy about it. They may see this person as being someone who has bad habits, which is maybe a reason why they don't particularly like this person. And this person may not even have these bad habits anymore. You know, it could be like the guy has what looks to be like a beer bottle or whatever. Maybe um, your significant other, your special person, maybe they've had like an alcohol problem or a drug problem or something like that, which is why others may possibly judge this person coming in around the holidays and showing up as a, as a special surprise for you. And because of that, this other person or people around you may feel like, well, if you're going to hang out with that person this holiday season, you ain't getting ish for me. You know, they, they may feel very spiteful and vengeful towards you over this connection. And, you know, if it's somebody else maybe that you've already been involved with, or maybe it's someone who has a crush on you, um, it could be like another potential love interest who, who basically, like the best way I can describe it is like this unexpected visitor who's going to be a surprise that you're going to be making love to by the fireplace. It's kind of like in Twilight, like that person is Edward and this other person who is upset that Edward came along is like Jacob in Twilight and he's going to be very jealous and upset. So that's one possibility. It could be like one of those love triangle kind of situations, but it doesn't have to be. This could also be just a very critical friend or family member who is just not thrilled or excited with this person. And I feel like this person who's being critical of your connection is basically feeling like this other person who has come along to make love to you by the fireplace in the past, I, I feel that they're saying that they took too much from you when um, you guys had like previously interacted. So do be aware of that. Um, but I'm not getting the feeling from this person who's going to be coming along as the unexpected visitor. I'm not picking up anything that would be saying that they're going to continue those bad habits because it also says that they're chopping out their bad habits. So I do believe when they return to you over the holiday season, they're returning to you as like this new person who has chopped out this bad stuff. So they're not gonna be carrying in those previous toxic behaviors or problems that were there before. So I would kind of block out that noise, especially when we also have Jesus here saying, judge not that you be not judged and I feel like this person is going to be kind of judgmental of the situation but I would just kind of shrug off their judgments and most importantly just follow your heart follow good judgment and common sense um you know just be mindful and prayerful over the situation and you know and don't give this person who is upset about it don't give them a hard time it's still the holiday season this person is probably coming from a good place because they do love you and they do care about you and they do want the best for you. They're just concerned, which is probably why they're doing that. Probably going a little overboard and being a little bit overprotective when it's unnecessary. So just give them a little bit of grace and understanding there, but don't let um, the naysayers of the situation get you down. Because most importantly, you're gonna be enjoying yourself this holiday season and you're gonna be playful this holiday season so it doesn't seem like there's really anything to be upset about. Just enjoy it. Anyway, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Pile number five, the Santa pen cap pile. 
Um, if the message did not flow, just let it go. But if it did, please leave a message for me down in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, give this video a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are aware of future videos as they come out. Otherwise, I'm so grateful that you guys came to this video to check it out. Keep sparkling and Merry Christmas, everybody. Hi, Pile 6. If you chose this pretty little iridescent angel, then this is your Christmas in July reading. Gonna jump right into this here. We're gonna start off with the Loving Words from Jesus card because I always include a Jesus card in all of my readings. Um, simply because in my opinion, a Bible verse a day keeps the bad vibes away. And also Christmas is his birthday, so it only makes sense naturally to include a Jesus card. Let's see what it says. Be not afraid, only believe. Mark 536. That is always a good reminder. And now we're going to launch into your love oracle cards and see what they have to say. Cuddles and movies. Well, this looks like a Hallmark movie, basically, on that card right there. I got what you want. Santa's gonna come and make you mine this Christmas. I think that's actually a Mariah Carey lyric. Sorry, we're closed. Well, that sounds like a COVID problem, but let's keep going. Spirit has something special for you. Ooh, fun surprises. Holiday travel, which is funny. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking in relation to like the virus. It's kind of funny. Um, I want to spoil you. Mrs. Santa's helper. Outgoing message. I want to see you this holiday. And I still believe. Oh, that's sweet. All right. So here's what I see is going on dealing with you guys. Um, well, number one, it seems like there's definitely going to be some holiday travel involved for you. Um, it seems like you are most likely gonna be going somewhere, whether it's near or far, you will probably travel somewhere to see friends, family, something related to that, whether it's by plane or you decide to road trip it. Um, I myself actually, like we're in July and I'm already having conversations with my mom about driving home for the holidays because of everything that's going on with the virus. And I live in LA, I've lived here for 14 years, but I'm from Chicago originally. So it would literally be a cross country drive if I decide to do that this year. And I've done it before in the summer, but I've never done it in the winter. So that's, that's a different story. That's just me, but you may be traveling too. We all may be traveling together, who knows? Um, so there may be some holiday travel involved for you. And even if it's not over Christmas, you know, maybe you're gonna do it over Thanksgiving, maybe you're gonna do it over New Year's, at some point during that time. But I do think, um, especially because of everything that's been going on related to the virus and stuff, um, wherever you do travel, you may not be doing very much. <laughs> um, there may be a lot of things closed. There may be things still in lockdown. Um, like literally, that's what I'm taking this in relation to is the virus right now. Um, especially this year, this probably wouldn't apply like many other years, but uh, because of everything going on with the virus, you may not be able to do a lot of the holiday traditions that you used to be able to do in the past. That may not be happening this year. You may be creating new holiday traditions um, at home with loved ones when you do travel. Uh, you know, like they just canceled, they announced that they canceled the Rose Parade 
just yesterday. So, you know, if they're canceling that, it wouldn't surprise me if they cancel the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and who knows what else. So, um, yeah, you may not be doing certain activities that you would usually do in the past due to what's happening, um, happening in the world right now. But just because of that doesn't mean you're not going to have other things going on because you definitely will. Um, I do think that wherever you travel, wherever you're going to be headed to, that there is a special person that's there um, and you are probably going to send them a message to let them know you're on the way. I want to see you this holiday. So at some point, either before you leave to go home to visit family or you know go wherever it is that you're going to be heading you're probably going to be messaging someone who is where you're traveling to and you're going to be telling that person hey i'm going to be in town i would like to see you this is probably someone who is of romantic interest to you or maybe you already are like in a long distance relationship with this person um, so you're definitely going to be putting them on notice that you are heading into town. Santa's, Mrs. Santa's helper is coming to town. And I do think that this person is going to be excited to see you. Um, like this guy, he, he has two packages. If you think about it, he has a package in his hand and he has a package in more of a Southern region. Um, but you know, he's, he's got packages there for you. So, um, and that's funny because we have another guy here, another uh, hunky model guy saying, I got what you want. So I do think that when you go wherever it is that you're traveling to, after you send this message, this person's going to be very receptive to that and he's going to be ready for you. He's going to have a present. He's going to have a gift. And you know, this, this gift could be in, in many ways, you know, it could be, um, oh, and then up here too, I want to spoil you. And like every single one of these guys, it's like the same thing. Like we have Santa hats and packages. They all have the same thing. Like literally every single guy here has the same thing. They're, they're all holding presents. They're all holding Santa or not holding Santa. They're wearing Santa hats. Um, but yeah, he, whoever this person is, he wants to spoil you. Um, he wants to give you a gift. Um, so this person definitely wants to give something to you when he sees you. So he's going to be very excited to get this message. And whatever this gift is, you know, it could be like literally a physical gift. It could be something that he like went out and he bought. But I think even more so deeper than that, I think that... Um, I think it's it's going to be something much deeper than that because we also has have spirit has something special for you. So I think that like basically God wants to give you a very special Christmas this year too. And I feel like this person who has been far away from you um and maybe you guys haven't been communicating very much up to this point. Um I do feel like God is basically saying like this person, like just their presence and spending time with them and being with this person, like that in itself is going to be a gift. And I feel like there could be um, a new level of commitment taken in this relationship. You know, there could be times of, you know, like intimacy and lovemaking that'll be a gift and communication and depth in your conversations and joy and having good times together. You guys are probably gonna have times of tenderness together together over the holidays, just like chilling out, you know, cuddling, watching movies together. I mean, look at how happy these two are. Like this is the epitome here of like the Hallmark happily ever after, like quite literally, cause they're probably watching a Hallmark Christmas movie on this card. So, I mean, this is like the epitome of like that Hallmark happily ever after, Disney happily ever after kind of Christmas story. Um, so I think that the gift that this guy wants to give you, it's multi-leveled. It's, um, you know, 
It could be like whatever a store-bought gift, but it's gonna be deeper than that. It's gonna be love, it's gonna be spiritual, it's gonna be vulnerability, it's gonna be connecting, it's gonna be communication, it's gonna be commitment, it's gonna be like taking whatever it is that you're looking for dealing with this person, it's gonna be taking it to that next level. Something that you've probably been desiring for a long time dealing with this person. And this person is basically saying, Santa, <laughs> Santa's gonna come and make you mine this Christmas, just like the Mariah Carey song. Um, you know, Santa's gonna come make you mine this Christmas. Um, but yeah, so that's their desire. They definitely want to do that, which is why I'm saying there's going to be a higher level of commitment here. If you guys are already in a long distance relationship, it could be that you know, maybe this person is planning to move your way. They want to move in your direction. Or, you know, maybe you guys are going to work out something where you move to them. Something like that. Something long distance wise will either be dissolved where you guys can actually like live in the same place. Or if you guys are not in a relationship, but you've had this connection from a distance, I think you guys will cement it and like make it official, you know, like be Facebook official or whatever it is that you want to call it and officially be like a committed couple. And the biggest reason that this is all going to pan out and this is all going to work out is because there's one thing and one thing only that you have to do right now between July and like November, December when this happens. All you have to do is believe. And you may not be talking to this person right now. You may not have much of a reason to believe that this type of story is going to unfold whatsoever. But there is a happily ever after waiting out there for you, pile number six. And it's going to happen as long as you believe. You know, like, believe like a child. Have that childlike faith and just believe, which really goes hand in hand with this card. Be not afraid only believe which is funny because jesus is holding a child he's helping a child up here um so yeah like that's all you have to do just have that childlike faith believe in miracles believe in the impossible and you will see amazing things happen so the only thing that's going to be closed is probably going to be businesses <laughs> but that's okay because you're going to have an amazing time just like one-on-one -on -one with this person, cuddling, watching movies. They clearly have an amazing gift for you. And it's funny because since we do have like three different cards representing that, I'm also thinking like the Holy Trinity here, like, you know, Father, Son, Holy Ghost kind of a thing. So yeah, I just think that's super cool. I'm very excited for you guys. Um, that is definitely a really happy, and joyful thing to be looking forward to this holiday season. So if this message made sense for you and it helped you, that is fantastic. If it didn't, then if it didn't flow, just let the message go. But if it did, I would love to know. Please leave me a message down in the comments below and leave this video a big fat thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of new videos as they come out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm so thankful you came to this video and checked out this beautiful reading. Keep sparkling and have a very Merry Christmas in July.